Bukowski's view on the daily grind is nothing short of soul-sucking. He believed that so many people are stuck in a life of monotony, routine, and unfulfillment. Bukowski saw this in forced labor as a modern form of slavery, where ordinary individuals are trapped in their cubicles, offices, and factories, just like the slaves of the Old South were trapped in chains. What's even more disturbing is how subtly this slavery operates. There are no physical whips cracking or overseers yelling commands, but instead, invisible chains of societal expectations and economic survival keep us bound. Bukowski witnessed firsthand how this decayed humanity, robbing people of their individual creativity and reducing them to mere cogs in a vast machine on the factory lines. Bukowski forces us to question the idea of a stable job and confront the harsh reality that generations have been conditioned to settle for minimal compensation for their priceless time and effort. We are coerced into sacrificing our lives to faceless corporations, where our worth is reduced to nothing more than a cog in the machine. But is this really the purpose of our existence? Are we meant to spend our days, weeks, and years within sterile environments that do nothing to nourish our souls? According to Bukowski, the answer is a resounding no. Instead, he urges us to take control of our lives, break free from the chains of monotony, and find meaning in our own passions and pursuits. He understood the futility of living for the weekends, where people tried to numb their dissatisfaction with temporary escapes and fleeting pleasures. He challenged us to rise above this mentality and discover our true selves outside the confines of the 9 to 5 world, embracing a life defined by our authentic passions and genuine happiness. By exploring Charles Bukowski's works, we unearth a powerful message. True liberation comes not from conforming, but from pursuing our passions, challenging societal expectations, and breaking free from the shackles of the 9 to 5 grind. The problem with the world is that the intelligent people are full of doubts, while the stupid ones are full of confidence. We mustn't be afraid to question the status quo and challenge the chains that hold us back. It's time to redefine what it means to be free, to live a life of purpose instead of simply conforming to societal norms.